See, because the scripture said the vision is for an appointed time and the end is going to speak and not lie. It ain't going to lie. It ain't going to lie. In your trouble right now, what you're going through right now, it ain't God ain't lie. God did not repent his gift. God will not repent his gift for saving you. He won't change his mind. God did not change his mind. God ain't going to take his gift back. But God, what God said is going to happen. What God said is, 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 going, to, is going to take place. What God said is going to transpire because the slump is over. The slump is over. The slump is over. The slump is over because God has repositioned you. He's repositioned you with a, with a better pitch. He's repositioned you with a better peace. He's re repositioned you with a better joy. He's re repositioned you. He's re re repositioned you even with a, a greater sense of love. And so, see, sometimes God, sometimes see, God, see, God, love suffers. Love suffers, love suffers. But in that suffering, in that suffering, when love stretches, love, love expands. And see, some, some of you, your love been under attack. Your love been in a slump. Your love been under attack. Your love been tried. But through the test of time, through the test, and now you don't discover that your love, God has given you love, God has given you a greater love. God has given you a saturated love. God gave you a saturated love because of what you've been through. And God, God gave you the strength to go, go through it. He gave you the strength to go through it. He gave you the wisdom to go through it. He gave you the power to go through it. The slump is over. The slump is over. Let me pray right quick. Father God, in the name of Jesus, God, I thank you. I bless you and I magnify you. God, for this is a life-changing situation. God, this is a life-changing word. There's someone that hear this word right now. The scripture said that he that has an ear. Let him hear. Let him hear. Or her. Let him hear what the Spirit is saying. God, and speak to the Spirit right now. God, let them know that the slump is over. God, let them know that you're repositioning them. God, let them know that peace is coming again. God, let them know that joy is coming again. God, let them know. God, let them know, God, that you're turning things around where things were messed up. God, where, where things were seemed like things that were things that were things that were useless and hopeless. God, but you're bringing hope again, God. God, you're bringing, God, you're manifesting your power through this right here. Because even in that situation that they beat in, God, God, you said that your grace is sufficient. Your grace, your grace is more than enough. God, you offense. God, in their situation, God, you offense. You've been an offense. You've been an offense. God, you've been a buckler. God, you've been protecting them from danger, seen and unseen, God. God, you've been protecting them. And so now you're going to show the manifestation of your protection, God. God, because you're restoring, God. God, you're restoring back. God, you're giving double for your trouble, God, for their trouble, God. God, some been in a situation like a pregnancy. They've been in pain. They've been in three tribe masters. They've been, be, been in travail. They've been in travail, but now the deliverance has come. The baby has been birthed. The slump is over. The slump is over. The slump is over. Is that all right? God bless you. God bless you. Thank you for your support. Thank you for your support. And keep me and your family, me and my family, <laughs> keep me and my family in your prayers as I walk. As I walk, as I walk, as I walk. And, and, and some of you, and some of you, prophetically, I'm going to speak to you, some of you, as I'm walking, there are certain things, there are certain things that you're walking out of. There's certain things, there are certain depressions you're walking out of. There's certain there, there's certain uh, there's certain uh, mind battles you're walking out of. There's a certain warfare that you're walking out of. There's a certain bondage that you're walking out of. There's a grip. There's a soul tie that you're walking out of. Just keep walking because the scripture says how beautiful are the feet that plumbish the gospel. See, God is moving and God is speaking into your feet. God is causing them things. God is causing chains to be broken. God is calling spells to be broken. God is calling voices of your past to be broken. See, God is breaking you. God is breaking you away from your past. God is break, breaking you away from things that have been trying to hold you fast. It's broken. It's broken. It's broken. It's broken. You're walking out. You're walking out. You're walking through. You're walking out. You're walking out with victory. You're walking out with joy. You're walking out with understanding. You're walking out with the victory. Now you're walking out with a testimony. See, God done gave someone that's listened to a testimony of what God had caused you to walk out of. He calls you to walk out of something tough. He calls you to walk out of something that was been holding you, been trying to stay with you, been trying to been trying to uh, camouflage yourself to, to stay with you. But God is breaking the breaking. God is breaking it. The curse is broken. Somebody put that in the comment. The curse is broken. God is breaking the curse. God is breaking the spell, the spell of words, the spell, the spell of control, the spell of hurt. The spell of pride, the spell of indoctrination. Is that all right? The slump is broken. The slump is over. The slump is over. God bless you. Rediscover. Do me a favor, share. Please share this. God bless you.